Joe on YouTube asks, I have just begun learning JavaScript and I'm already stuck on this question in our assignment. Add the required JavaScript to calculate the amount of GST, PST, and the total cost for a room including taxes. So I asked him if he wanted a video tutorial to gain maximum understanding. Then I asked if he wanted GST and PST tax rates added together, then calculated, or one at a time. And he said one at a time. So that's what we're going to do. All right, Joe, open up your favorite code editor, create a new HTML file, name it whatever you want, and start yourself with a script tag, opening and closing script tag. And the first thing you want to do is type in let GST rate. Here, let's capitalize that R. GST rate equals... 5% and you can just set whatever percentage you need there let PST rate equals 10% then we're gonna let room price equal $100 now we'll calculate the percentage and add it to the room price for the tax percentage so we'll write let total with GST equals room price times open close parentheses and in the parentheses you want to type in one plus GST rate divided by 100 and then put a semicolon after your parentheses then you can just copy that paste it then total with PST is equal to room type room price multiplied by 1 plus PST rate divided by 100. Now this is going to give you some decimal numbers that you might not like that go further than two places and you might want to fix those decimal places to just give you two zeros after the point. So we'll do that also. So we'll type in let fixed GST equals then we just grab this variable here pop it in right there and dot to fixed method and we're gonna fix it to two zeros after the point copy that paste and do the same thing just change it to let oh wait we gotta put a space here and a space here let fixed PST and then we get copy that put total with PST to fixed two. Now what you can do to see the output of that is either, since you're new to JavaScript, I'm just going to give you some alerts. That way it's a, a window that pops up and you can't miss it. But you can also just type in here console.log if you're used to using the console and seeing values that way. But you can just leave it as alert if you like. Oh, wait. This isn't going to work. We're going to first need to... I have the wrong variables in here. Total with GST and then total fixed GST should be here, the name of that variable, and total fixed PST should be here. Now just run this file in your browser and you'll get 105 and then 110 and a whole bunch of zeros and a one. Then you press OK and you'll see the fixed numbers, $105 and $110. So if we go back into our file, let's change the, the room price to 50. This way you can see it change. And then refresh the page. It's 52.50 and then $55. Okay, so I hope that helps you out, Joe. And feel free to ask any questions if there's something we didn't cover here. And hopefully I understood your question correctly. Let me know if I misunderstood and we'll adjust things. I wanted to add one more thing just in case. What you can do is if you want to add PSD and PST and GST together, for instance, have two tax rates on the room price, you could say GST rate plus PST rate, and then just group those in parentheses, and then rename this variable total with both and you'll have uh, or you can make a new variable total with both and add them both together both tax rates on the room price and I don't know if that's something you need to see or not but I thought I'd throw it in